In today's video, we'll take a look at the size of operator. So you might have used this before, right? You at one point may have tried to find the size of um, an int. So for example, say size of and then int here. And if you want to, let's say, print this on the screen, just like so. If we run this, you'll notice I'm going to get four. So what does size of do? Basically returns the number of bytes in a certain type. Now you might also know that instead of int here, you can use really anything. So I can here, for example, I can define an A here, which is, I don't know, give the value of five and say size of A. And that would be the same thing as saying size of the type of A. So you'll notice I still get four here, right? Now, a few things that people get wrong with size of is uh, the format specifier when printing it on the screen. This guy size of A returns a value of type size T, right? If it's a size T, that is usually a 64 bit unsigned integer. So you should use either percent LLU or ZU. Right, so I'm gonna use percent LLU for this case, and it's gonna work the same way here because, well, that that's fine. But with really large uh, numbers, it might not print perfectly on the screen. Right, we are no longer actually converting this into a 32-bit uh, integer because of percent D. So just to keep that in mind. <clears throat> Another cool thing about size of is that. It works really well with arrays. So if I have here, for example, uh, int array, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, initialize it with some values here, three, nine, and 10, let's say. So this array is of size three, let's say. So it's of size three, and since it's an int array, it's, it should have 12 bytes. But remember when I said that arrays usually decay uh, into pointers? Right, so when we say here size of array, shouldn't that decay into a pointer and right, and this become basically an an int pointer and the size of int pointers are usually eight bytes. But in this case, you'll notice I get 12 here. That's three times four because of the array. And it works because size of it is implemented in such a way that uh, if used on arrays, arrays don't decay into pointers. They are actually evaluated as a whole. And uh, if I say, for example, here 10, it's going to evaluate their whole size, right? So we have here 40. But just remember that it only works with arrays. If you have here a pointer, let's say int uh, array pointer equals array, right? If I change that to a pointer, of course, I'm gonna get eight. Right, because the size of a pointer on a 64-bit uh, machine and compiler is eight bytes. Now, following this setup, since we actually get the number of bytes inside the array, as in, if I change this here to array and also delete this, I get 40, right? That's because uh, we have 10 integers and each int is four bytes long. Nice. But that also means that we can divide by the size of int to get this size, right? If I, for example, print it, print out here size of int, so size of array divided by the size of int, if the array is of type int, it's going to be divisible. So it's gonna be a whole uh, number. And if I run this, you'll notice I get back 10. So this is a very nice way to get the number of elements inside an array. Just get the size of array and divide it by uh, the number of bytes inside an element of that array. So doing this, if I change this uh, here to, let's say 50, then I don't have to actually change any code so that we print on the screen the, the number of elements on the, in the, inside the array, right? You can also define maybe a, uh, have a define here, size or number of elements really, number of elements, elements, let's say here 50, and that could also work nicely, right? But if you don't really wanna deal with uh, defines like this, you might wanna use this setup. And one last weird thing that I've seen being asked around uh, various uh, programming groups is this structure, size of, 
size of int. Now what's that actually going to get us? Well, we just have to think about what we get uh, as a result of the size of. So size of int, what it says is get me the number of bytes inside the type int. So we get four. But size of this thing is size of the number of bytes inside the type that this guy returns. What did I say that it returns? A size T. And a size T is a 64 bit or 8 byte unsigned integer. So I'm going to get here as a result 8. Right? So this is why size of size of something always uh, returns 8, simply because whatever whatever the size of this guy is, size of itself, the operator itself is going to return a uh, size t type. All right, so this was a very short video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.